Lesson two, topic writing in point slope form, learning target. I can write a linear equation in point slope form. First off, what is point slope form? Point slope form looks like this. We have y minus y1 equals m, which is our slope, times the quantity x minus x1. So point slope form is made up of a coordinate point. So an x1 y1 pairing, and that you can see in green, and your slope. So slope is the same thing as before, that change in y over change in x. And that is when we are going to use this formula here to calculate our slope. So first off, we're going to learn how to calculate our slope from two points. So our coordinate points are 28 and 9, 16. So we could graph the points and then do rise over run, but instead to save a step, we can just use our slope formula, which is right here. So step one is to label the coordinate points. And by labeling, I mean, are they an X pair? Are they an X number or are they a Y number? So every coordinate point is an X, Y pairing. However, we have two x's and two y's, so we need to label them so we know the difference between the x's and between the y's. So this pair is your first pair of coordinate points, so we just label it x1, y1. And then this is our second pair of coordinate points, so we label it x2, y2. And then we calculate the slope by plugging in the numbers into their spots. So we have m equals y2. So our y2 number, the number we labeled as y2 is 16, so I'm going to put 16 in that spot, minus y1. So the number I labeled as y1 is 8, so I put 8 in that spot. Then we do the same thing with our x's. We have x2, which was labeled as 9, and x1 which that number is 20. And then we can do the operations. So we have two different ways we can do it. We can use our calculator, or we can just do the operations and reduce the fraction. I like to use my calculator because it saves a step for me. All right, I would like you to take your calculator in your hand and follow along with me as we do this. So you learn how to use your calculator to calculate your slope. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get a fraction into our calculator. And to do that, we have to hit three buttons. The first button we're going to hit is the green button that says alpha. The second button we're going to hit is this y equals button. It's right here at the top of your screen on the left. And then we're just going to hit enter. So again, that was the green button, y equals enter. And then we just type in our fraction. So we want 16 minus 8 at the top. Then we want to go down to the bottom. So we're going to click our down arrow right here. You can see it highlighted in red on your screen. And then we type in the bottom, which is 9 minus 20. Press enter. And we get our fraction. What's nice about using our calculator is it will reduce it for you. So it's already in that simplified answer. Negative 8 over 11. So that is how you find slope using the slope formula. So now we are going to use that to help us write an equation in point slope form. So we're given two coordinate points, negative 4, 7, and negative 6, negative 3. And we want to write an equation for the line that goes through those two points in point slope form. So Again, we're going to calculate our slope using the slope formula. So we are going to label our coordinate points as x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we are going to calculate the slope. So we're going to plug in those numbers into our slope formula. y2 minus y1 on the top. y2 is negative 3 minus y1, which is 7. 
then doing the same thing on the bottom with our x's, we have x2 is negative 6 minus x1, which is negative 4. So sometimes you will have this double negative here going on, minusing a negative, and that's okay. So now we're going to use our calculator to calculate our slope. So again, we want to get that fraction on our calculator. We hit the green button, alpha, y equals, enter. And then we type in our fraction, negative 3 minus 7 over negative 6 minus negative 4. Make sure you're using this button right down here that I'm circling for your negatives. Once you've typed it in, just press enter, and our slope is 5. So now that we know our slope is 5, we can write our equation in point-slope form. So again, it's just plugging in numbers where they belong. So we have y minus y1. So we go back up to our coordinate points, and we look at what number was labeled y1, which was 7, equals m. m is our slope which was 5, and then x minus x1. So again, we go back up to our coordinate point, and which number was labeled x1? Negative 4. So then we do want to simplify this. We're going to rewrite it. y minus 7 equals 5 times x minus negative 4 is really plus And that's your final answer. Last example, I would like you to try this on your own and check your answers in Edpuzzle.